potential square value. So last class we have finished the feature file creation uh, phase objects model phase class we implemented. Now this class we will implement the steps, a common step for all the project. You can create a Java file. So right click on the step definition package, right click, create a Java file. So I can create a Java class, common steps. UI web, web UA, uh, UI common steps. I'll give a name like this, web UI common steps. Click on finish. So name, it can be anything. It doesn't matter, okay? Web UI common steps, the class file you create. Now we need to implement this. We need to get this all this uh, you no know, uh, feature file. So open TD Gherkin uh, from Google Chrome. So I'll go to apps. So here we have a TD Gherkin already added to the Chrome. So this TD Gherkin is going to give, go to feature file, copy the features, all the steps, this entire steps, copy it. Go to this, paste it here, select the Java steps, you will get a complete Gherkin code. You'll get everything, you don't need to write also. Okay? Just copy paste. This entire thing. See how easy it is. Copy and paste it in the web common steps. That's it. So then import all this uh, given uh, when then. So from ivokukumbarjava.en, so import that. When also import. And then import then also. Then also import. But we have to make sure uh, this and belongs to which one? This and belongs to, you can see here, user opens URL that belongs to given only. So you make changes here in the and place you give given. That's the only change. You have to identify each and belongs to where. So this and click on login button. This is belongs to, I think, when, right? Click login button. So this belongs to, this and belongs to when. So write a when there. So here when you write. So then close the browser is this also belongs to then I think. See, close the browser, this and belongs to this then. So I'll put a then key button. That's it. Okay. And uh, so remove all this, uh, throw new pending exceptions, all this you remove, and we have to implement one by one. One by one step, we have to implement. So that's simple, that much simple in the uh, steps creation. Uh, step definition, uh, Gherkin code, this is called Gherkin code, Gherkin code development. That much very simple. First declare some global variables, you are a web driver, right? Public, so web driver, driver you declare. Because this is important for us to, so use this driver in all the methods. That we have to declare a global variable. And also login page. Login page as of now you can declare here. So login page, LP, 
L fields. So login fields, global variable I'm declaring. So the object we are so declaring and I will assign the values here, okay? I'll assign the values. Well, first one, I want to open Chrome browser. So that code you write, the Selenium code you develop it. So first, what is the first step? You have to launch the browser. The exe file concept we can avoid here. So for that, what we need to do first, web driver manager dot Chrome driver. We are running on the Chrome driver dot setup. Then so give the driver value. Driver equal to this global variable value equal to new Chrome driver. So import the Chrome driver option. Chrome driver class you import from org.openq.selenium.chrome package. So after this, I need to maximize the window. So this is just a launching the browser, right? Uh, launching the browser. So this code maximize the window. So driver dot manage method dot window method dot maximize. So maximization also done. Then, so you have to open the URL. The open the URL should uh, come there. I'll put there after that only. So I'll put in the order all the steps also. Steps wise uh, we can implement step by step. Okay, this one is, uh, this given is uh, after this opening the browser. So browser is opened. Hey Ramesh, uh, one small clarification, please. Yeah. So I see web driver manager is imported from a GitHub package. So is that something like you use? Yes. Okay. So this is the one. Uh, so we, we already added this uh, dependency uh -huh. in the form.xml. Oh, okay, okay. So then Got you can you. import it. See, this is the web driver. Oh, okay. So this is the web driver. Oh. You can do that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And uh, now you don't need of any exe file concept. So you can get rid of that exe file concept. All this, uh, your driver path is not matching all those problems. You can avoid with this. It's easy. Okay. Any browser. So same. Every browser, this class inside, we have a static method. Call that static method. Chrome driver, Firefox driver. Safari driver, Opera driver, Edge driver, all these classes are no methods, static methods are available. Thanks, Ramesh. Okay, now, so we need to implement this step. What is this step? So I need to implement, I need to open the URL, right? on the URL. It automatically capture from the your feature file, this URL. You don't need to struggle, but you have to give this parameter. If you want, you can change parameter URL. So driver dot, see driver, that's why I declared global. Driver I want to use in each method. So I'm passing, don't keep again web driver here before this driver, 19th line. If you make only this driver will be applicable to this method only. Then you will get a null pointer exception when you are calling in another method. So that's why global variable you declared and assign the value. See, this is the assignment happening on the 19th line. So driver equal to, sorry, driver dot get of URL. So this to URL I'm going. Right. So that's it. That step is done. Now, next step. See, each step we are implementing. 
This step is done. Now we are going for this step. Third step I'm implementing. User enters email as. I can just know here, see this login page also I need to initialize. I'm going to initialize that here. So L page equal to new login page. So I have to pass the driver. This driver I will pass. This driver I will pass. So that it will initialize the all the page objects of this page. Now I can call this page here. So what is that? I need to enter the e email, right? First, enter email. That I'm implementing that step. L page that set email. I can just call email. Maybe I can give here one parameter as a email. Second parameter as a password. See two parameters, you got it. And those two parameters I'm going to reuse here. So then set password. LP is LP is dot set password. Sorry. Just uh, no control space for you, you'll get automatic. So password. See done. This step also done. Okay. Next step. What is the next step? User clicks on logout link. This is not our uh, step now. Okay. The next step is what is the next step? User click on login button. So bring that. Bring that here. User click on login button. This I'll bring. So click on login button. So implement that L is dot click login button. See page objects. So you are not writing the code here. You are implementing everything in the page page class that you are calling here in your step definition. Next. A page title should be so once you log in, see once you click on login button, it should verify the page title. It should verify the page title. This page title you have to verify. So this page title you need to tell clearly. And also another page title also there. So these two page title I'll implement in one step. So that is both are then only. Both are then only you can see here. And even you can call this logout also. Logout, so we'll come after so this and it will take automatically. Don't worry. Click on logout. So LP is dot click logout link. That's it. So all the steps are done till for this part, right? Everybody clear on this? Just created the steps and I'm calling you. Now, close the browser is very simple, right? If, so driver is not null, just driver dot fit to use, over. Now I need to implement why I kept this late means, I'll tell you this. See, you, you observe here, two titles are there. Page title should be after login, you will get a verification of this page title. And after logout, your store login current, uh, your, you see you are in the logged in page, right? Logged in page, this page title, the dashboard and uh, I take this page title. Go to head, head tag and this page title. So this page title you have to verify. Once you click logout, you have to verify the different page title. How can you verify? Either you can verify this heading also, but I'm taking a page title. It's up to you. One, just verify the page heading means step you change. Here, you change the step. Here, you change the step. Then, verify the dashboard uh, page heading. Cool. You will get another step. That's it. And this step is going to be different, and this step is going to be different. But here, I'm 
verifying the, the true case title in one method so that it will understand even for our feature also here also data driven also when you give correct uh, page uh, username password this page title you will get. if you give incorrect username password it won't go to this page right it will get this page title that if else condition you have to write here that's a very 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 important here okay so that logic we need to so i'll just take from here so uh, no need to waste time just let me take one so there is one easy element method also this method also i need to put there in our block i'll keep it that All these reusable methods, I'm going to keep it in one utilities class. I'll change that later. Change this. Uh, as of now, you can just, uh, otherwise I'll paste in the, or this, or let me put directly in our blog. So no need to, no. Meanwhile, you can uh, copy paste this method the page class, okay? In your page, uh, login page class, you can paste it. I'll add this to login page. But I want to keep this in the utilities. That's why I didn't uh, include here. But let's put this in the utilities. We can uh, put it later. As of now, you can just place inside the login feature. Later, I will change it to that uh, one uh, test based class will create. From there, we will, uh, our one base class will create test based class. There, I'll keep all the reusable methods. I, under utilities, you can keep it always. There it is, I'll log in base class. This is the base class. Two times some package. I'll just place it here of now. Okay, so done. We are done. Now that I need to implement here. So that I need to implement here in our, I'm going to call this. I'm going to call that first if condition. If so, first of the you give the title here, a title name, you can give title. The user no. The parameter I'm changing to title. So if the element the logout link is present, if logout link is present, or logout link is not present, you can still not present. So and understand here. Mainly you can understand here the concept. If login is successful, you will get this page title dashboard no commerce administration if login is not successful see what is the message you are going to get let me give you that message your store is there right your store uh, the first page only and you will get a message there unsuccessful login was unsuccessful message you will get see if i give a here now you are getting a if i give a wrong one you can see there. What is that? Login was unsuccessful, you are getting. So this is available, this entire message is available in the body, a body tag. How can you get a source code? How can you get an entire source code? The source code I'll check if this message is, if you are getting a this message. Right, if we are getting this message, and then you can verify that. So, and this is how you can uh, know put a verification point. That verification point I'm going to do with that one. So, is element present? Is element present already available? Right. Um, Login page, I keep it here. 
is element present. Okay, I'm going to call this here. I will use uh, L piece dot keys element. So driver, you can give driver and by dot link text. So if it is a the piece title, so if this uh, logout logout is available. If this element is available, what is that? Logout. So if it is available, is that element is present, then you can accept that. Accept. Or is not present also, you can think is not present. Unsuccessful, I can is not present. This entire thing is not present. If this element is not present, I can say assert dot assert uh, true assert true. So I'm putting uh, so that entire driver dot get a source. The source code inside that lo login was unsuccessful is there or not? I'm checking contains contains a message. What is the message? Login was unsuccessful. This message I'm verifying. So that's fine for me, right? If I verify this, that's cool. Else, else, I can write asset dot, asset equals, asset equals. So the expected is the title. And you are getting from the your feature file from here. From here you will get it. And the actual is I'm going to write driver dot get it. So this is the how you can validate if this element is not present. Verify this. If element is available, uh, this element is available. So it will come here and verify that paste title, both paste titles, any paste title. So this is the how you can build the uh, piece, a step first step definition for the scenario and scenario outline. Both will include. That's it. Uh, the 